good morning from Hat Yai. Yesterday, I drove from Langkawi uh, through Bukit Kayu Hitam into Thailand, and honestly, it was it was a lot, lot easier and and um, smoother than I thought it would be. But I'm glad that I actually went through the whole thing and not assume so. So yeah, the, the ties at the border were, were really friendly, and and uh, um, and the process itself is pretty straightforward. One of the things I was concerned about was because of how my van is, I fit a lot of stuff in it, and I built it in such a way there are lots of nooks and crannies, right? So so that I can keep little little things and stuff like that. Uh, uh, and I was concerned that that they might basically uh, uh, want to see to look through everything, and that would be a okay. And that would be difficult for me, right? Because oh, it'll take up a lot of time because I've got to take out everything and show you. Okay, this is this, this is that, and all that kind of stuff. But no. I think the only thing, the only thing that I think they were they, they were looking out for, was whether there were other people inside my car. So, I guess the number one thing is smuggling people across the border, and not so much other stuff. I was uh, I was concerned about oh, what if they see my vape because it's like banned in Thailand, right? And, and you can't vape in Thailand. So, yeah no worries at all so everything was fine i drove into hat yai i haven't been here for quite a while and i haven't really discovered this town before so so i stopped uh where i could and i start looking for uh, 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 a place to, to spend the night uh yeah, get my bearings right to get information and usually the best People to get information from are people at hostels or people who run hostels and and who are very helpful, right? People who actually want to help. Oh shit! I I oh, that road didn't look good. Okay, I'll go to the next one. Ways, where are you taking me? Okay, all right, I'll, I'll go the long way around. Hmm. Okay, so 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 I went online and um, I Google up Google Google <laughs> James wake up okay and I googled it up and I found this place right I honestly I can't really still can't really pronounce the name of the hostel but but it's got the highest rating on booking.com and and really good reviews right so I went and and just to visit it because it says that it's very clean, very nice, and there's a coffee place uh, uh, below it. They have a little coffee cafe, uh, a little cafe uh, below the hostel, and the coffee apparently is good. So, me and coffee, you say coffee good, I'm so there. So, so I went, and I went in and had coffee, and it's pretty, pretty good, right? And the guy who made it, okay, I found out later, his name is Tong. He's actually the owner. And he only stays there. Uh, he, he looks after it at night because he's got his team to look after it in the daytime. So, we, so he said, "Okay, you want to eat? You know, go down there the street. And you can get whatever food." And I asked him, "Do you drink? Uh, do, would you like to have some beers?" And he said, "Yeah." So I brought down some beers from my 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 van, put it in the fridge, went for dinner, and then after that, I came back and uh, we just had beers and we started talking. Yeah, just just about his background and all that, which is fascinating. Okay, uh, uh, but that's not the point. I think I'm just gonna share his his story, maybe in another video or another post. Uh, but he, I told him about my trip, and he he gave me tips on quite a few places that I should visit that I didn't know about. Right. So so for example. I didn't. I didn't Google up. I didn't uh, 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 um, do too much research. But hey, apparently Songkla. That and he said this. He said this. There's nothing in Hat Yai, James, except the except the hill, right, to watch the sunset. 
but you should go to Songkla, especially Songkla Old Town. All right, it's beautiful, and it's about it's not that far away because if you have a car, you should go and you take the loop. You took the outer loop, so so um, when you head up, you're on the left, and when you come back, you come through the the Hat Yai Hill, so you can see the sunset. And so yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. He gave me other tips also, uh, but yeah, so he's he's from the north, slightly off the north. And he said you should you can check this out and check that. I said, damn son, these are such good tips. So thank you, Tong. So I'm on my way to Songkla now. Um, I'm gonna find a cafe there if I can, or just chill and get some work done. And uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay. All right. Now where do I go? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Ways. I will turn here.